Indian Defence, a mighty, resilient, future-ready force poised and equipped for the digital age where indigenous systems and net-centric warfare capabilities are helping the Indian Armed Forces create an integrated battlefield picture. Experience some of these capabilities from the Command and Control Center. Surveillance systems are on alert. Intercepting message, suspicious activity. Radar has detected an intrusion in the restricted area. Shelling in the area has just been reported. Close range detection of targets. Special forces activated. Intelligence exchange between the Indian Armed Forces. Real time communication links in progress. Indian Air Force sends the advanced light helicopter to deploy the troops. GPS light tracking in progress and the troops are in position. As the Indian Army gears up to tackle the security threat on ground, an air-based intrusion is detected along the northern international border. This is the Integrated Air Command and Control System, where the surveillance radars of the Indian Air Force, Indian Army and Navy are integrated to display a composite air situation picture. Incoming aircraft detected in restricted area. Establishing communication link with combat air patrol aircraft. Light combat aircraft Tejas cleared for interception. Going for weapon assignment and deployment. Air to air missile assigned. Engaging target. While the Indian Army and Air Force are poised to tackle intrusions, the Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guard have been alerted and are patrolling the maritime borders. IMAC and Coastal Surveillance System are detecting all vessels in the area. I take sensors on the lookout for suspicious vessels. A few hours later, a suspicious vessel has been detected. Transmitting data to command centers of the Indian Coast Guard and the Indian Navy. Naval ships move in to sanitize the area, while the Coast Guard deploys fast attack crafts to investigate. And the commandos are steadily moving towards the target, ready to engage. It's time for the Indian Armed Forces, the formidable and connected warriors, to neutralize the security threats. LCA Tejas has fired the Astra missile and the asset has successfully returned to base. Indian Navy secures the area as Coast Guard commandos intercept the rogue vessel and the intruders have been captured. The troops on ground are also moving in to engage enemy troops. The threats are successfully neutralized through joint efforts by the Indian Armed Forces. 